Yeah, we started it, uh, I think it was my sophomore year in high school, uh, 2003 was the year. Um, uh, followed in my dad's footsteps, actually. He had his own league, uh, which began in 1982, and is still going along in the area as well. Uh, just wanted to get friends together and uh, continue on with uh, that tradition. Uh, I caught on, people love it, and uh, since then we've expanded, and it's just been a really good time. Since I was in diapers, I've been playing croquet. Uh, I grew up watching my dad hustle people around the course, and <laughs> he taught me his ways. And We have just two originals left. Um, we always invite, you know, uh, the founding fathers from our league to uh, come back and sub. Uh, uh, Joey Freund, a good friend of mine, a uh, high school friend, came back and subbed earlier this year. Okay. Uh, so we always love to have them. Uh, Dan Ward is also a sub here today. He was a founding member as well. Uh, but just two have stuck around. It's tough going through high school and college to, to yeah. keep the group together. Is it competitive? Is it fun? Or is it a combination? Uh, it's it's uh, a combination. Yeah. <laughs> it can get very competitive. Uh, there's a lot of strategy involved. <laughs> um, it's always a great time. You know, uh, we're able to, regardless of the competition and uh, the anger that builds throughout the game, uh, get together afterwards and laugh about it. Yeah. So. I know when I play croquet, the, the big strategy is to send somebody pretty hard. You do that kind of stuff? We do, yeah. Some players more than others. <laughs> uh, it's good if you uh, utilize it uh, uh, to your favor. Uh, <laughs> there's a point where it just becomes destructive to your your own position in the game, but uh, uh, there's a place to definitely do that. Uh, we do a, a rotation for hosting, so there's 10 players. We'll do 10 hosts for those players, and then the first week was a potluck style host, and the last week will be a potluck with our banquet to follow. Uh, so each of us gets to host one time, so we get different courses throughout the year, which is really fun. We had uh, an Eagle Point Park host, which was on probably a 45 degree incline and was just a nightmare of a day. <laughs> Completely took the skill out of the game, but but uh, good memories regardless, sure. <laughs> looking back on it. Do you play in rain and shine? We do, yeah. Um, uh, the other league, you know, they'll cancel if it's drizzling. They, they're an older league. They, sure. They'll do that. <laughs> uh, we've played through tornado warnings. We've played through, <laughs> through hail. Uh, we go through anything. <laughs> wow. tornado the tornado warning wa was pretty memorable. Uh, we had a park ranger come by and actually tell us there's a tornado that touched down a few miles from here. You guys should probably <laughs> seek out shelter. So we left our setup, our balls, everything. Uh, when we came back, the water had drained and washed out the balls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was in a complete was that mess. Here or what? Uh, that was at Floor Park, actually. Floor Park. Mm -hmm. okay. um, I'd like to, you know, continue it as long as I'm able, and uh, there's such a following here. Uh, the group is just growing and growing each year. Uh, we have interest uh, for even more members next year, so I yeah. definitely think it'll continue. Are you the uh, best player? <laughs> I, w I would never say that. Uh, <laughs> Scott is uh, uh, Scott Breitfelder is challenging me for number one this year, and he's. Yeah. Hitting the ball really well right now. It's just uh, it's going to be a tough year. To <laughs>